Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to our Shabbat patio services. Ken and I are so glad to be leading the service and we so much miss you, of course, here. We know you're joining us from your own living room and we hope that you're having a good evening and ready for this beautiful Shabbat experience. We also want to let you know that we're using this special seed door that we use during our Kabbalah Shabbat services during the summer. This is something the ritual committee and I created a long time ago based on Gates of Prayer, which is the blue edition of our Reform Prayer Book that we used to use many, many, many years ago. But this PDF actually is available to you. Check the temple website. You will see it there. As well as if you look at tonight's service, it should be available to you wherever you click for tonight's service. It should be right there next to it. And with that, let us begin. We begin our service this evening singing Hine Mato on page 11. Hine Mato Vumana Shall more bizarre. 
now on page 18 with Mies Moore Shear. <laughs> We continue on page 23 with lighting of the Shabbat candles. And before I do the reading here that we'll do together on page 23, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and get your candles at home and light your candles at home. You can see here we have our candles which uh, are not really lighting well anyway. So we hope you'll be able to light them at home as we continue. In every beginning there is darkness. The darkness of chaos seems eternal. Yet form emerges, light dawns, and life is born. In the beginning, beginning the Most High made heaven, heaven and earth. In every beginning there is darkness, the darkness of ignorance which smothers human dignity, the darkness of fear which chokes the creative will, the darkness of tyranny which stifles freedom. The, the Most High said, said that let there be light. light. The Sabbath candles celebrate the divine power that makes for life and light. Say to each other, Shabbat Shalom. On the bottom of page 24, Shabbat is a day of freedom and peace, a celebration of life and creation. May it open our eyes to the goodness we have attained and our hearts to the goodness we may yet achieve. Let moments of holiness enter the world, uniting matter and spirit in the joy of wholeness as we welcome Shabbat, the day of days. Page 26. <laughs> Yeshmei 
ištabah, ir pa arbitru man vīdnā sē, vītā dār, vītā lē, vītā lāl, šmēdi kūčā brīchu, lē ēlā min pol brīchatā vēšīrātā, tūš pēchātā vēnēchēmātā, tā mīrān bēmā, vīmērū, āmēj. Page 28, we continue with our call to worship, Baraflu. And with this Sidur, as I'm sure you remember, we have arrows pointing up and pointing down. If you're able to, we invite you to please rise for Baraflu. <laughs> Continue responsibly on page 30. There was silence, there was chaos, there was a voice. A mind went forth to form worlds. No order reigns where chaos once held sway. The, the law, law makes evening, evening fall, the law, law brings on the dawn. dawn. The moon follows accustomed paths, constellations their pattern ways. Sovereign, Sovereign is the will that orders the stars in their courses, in the endless skies. Sovereign is that will. Continue on page 31. Yielding is the will of our people Israel. After the long nights, after the days and years when our ashes blacken the sky, Israel endures, hearts still turned to love, soul turning still to life. 
So day and night, early and late, you will rejoice in the study of Torah. You will walk by the light of these boat. They are our life and the length of our days. Praise be the source of life and love and Israel, our people. Guys, take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. One more deep breath in. Breathing out. You shall love the eternal your God with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Find them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be a symbol before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I, the Eternal, am your God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I, the Eternal, am your God. We worship the power that unites all the universe into one great harmony. That oneness, however, is not yet. We see in perfection, disorder, and evil all about us. But before our eyes is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. These two we have known in some measure. There is evil enough to break the heart, good enough to exalt the soul. 
our people has experienced untold suffering and wondrous redemptions. We await a redemption more lasting and more splendid than any of the past. When will redemption come? When we master the violence that fills our world. We look upon others as we'd have them look upon us. When we grant to every person the rights we claim for ourselves. Once we were in bondage, then we were free. In this first liberation, our people saw revealed the power of the Most High. They perceived that God's presence redeems time and event from the hands of tyrants. We too acclaim the power that makes for freedom. We sing the song that celebrates our deliverance from Egypt and all bondage as we continue with Micha on page 37. together on the bottom of the page. May we lie down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. May night spread over us a shelter of peace and quiet and calm, the blessing of rest. There'll come a time when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish. There'll come a day of happiness, of contentment, and peace. Praise be the source of joy within us for the night and its rest for the promise.
continue now the essential portion of our worship with our tefillah on pages 40 and following. Please rise if you're able. Page 44. The holiness of this day is not for this day alone. We must make it overflow into all our minutes. To hallow our weekdays from these sacred moments, hour by hour to make the world a sanctuary where every human may, soul may be at home. Oh, may the all we feel at times that the miracle of one another united in prayer be with us tomorrow. Keep tenderness in our words, our touch, and our look. Praise be the world and the power within it that makes for holiness. Please be seated if you're able. Yes, She should be sure. 
continue on page 50. We live in two worlds, the one that is and the one that might be. Nothing is ordained for us, neither delight nor defeat, neither peace nor war. Life flows and must freely choose. We can, if we will, change the world that is into the world that may come to be. As you're taught from of old, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from deceitful speech. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Be of the disciples of Aaron, loving peace and pursuing it. Loving, loving all human beings and bringing them to the Torah. The whole Torah exists only to bring peace as it is written. Its, its ways, ways are ways of pleasantness and all its paths are peace. Let justice dwell in the wilderness, righteousness in the fruitful field. For righteousness shall lead to peace. It shall bring quietness and confidence forever. Then all shall sit under your vines and under their fig trees and none, none shall make them afraid. We continue now on page 51 with Birkat Shalom. I cannot think of a more important prayer right now than a Birkat Shalom, the prayer of peace. say amen. I invite us to take a deep breath in, breathe in, in that sense of shalom and exhaling out that surah all that difficulty we don't need to hold on to. Another deep breath in as we exhale out. So we now take this opportunity to reflect on that makor shalom, that source of peace that lies truly within each one of us as we pause now silent reflection.
We now focus our energies toward those who are ill and in need of healing. On this Shabbat, we think of Jason Adams, Sally Amarendez, Adam Barish, Khanna Bat Miriam, Eliana Bat Khanna, Abby Perbaker, Tony Berliner, Dr. Arnold Berliner, Robert Berg, Barbara Berlant, Sarah Beinstock, Sandy Beinstock, Rich Burns, Esther Burton, Dr. Ed Kahn, Bob Kant, Simone Cardinet, Nicole Chapman, Hadley Crane, Celeste Donnelly, Elise Epstein, Peter Fadham, Jason Fishoff, Carolyn Franklin, Barbara Feedman, Sandy Friedman, Holly Fugit, Betty Garcia, Julie Gleaves, Jennifer Guerrera, Courtney Hansen, Lee Henderson, Celeste Hutchinson, Barbara Jackowitz, Rita Kane, Evelyn Katz McCosker, Petrus Lacey, Leah Tzvia Batliba Velchanan, Janice Lucero, Young Song Lot, Father Bill Leninger, Shirley Lerner, Gary Levine, Penny Levine, Bobby Lotman, Austin Lucero, Eva Misley, Peggy Monroe, Brad Parkins, Melanie Pearson, Judy Pell, Harriet Reisner, Esther Richman, Stan Rudman, Carol Ross, Marilyn Rudy, Richard Rusnak, Dolores Sams Hoy, Laura Sanders, Leslie Schneider, Don Nasheen, Kareen Silverman, Sybil Summer, Donna Thyman, Pham Tai Trang, Alan Wagner, Martha Walker, Teresa Walsh, Claire Cecil Watson, Jeannie Watson, Nancy Weisenfeld, Karen Williams, Sue Witten, Sherman Wong, as we now pray for their better health. Shabbat Shalom. It is a tree of life to all who cling to it. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. It is our Torah, of course. Rabbi teaches us about the stories and lessons in the Torah every week, but we haven't been in the same room with or touched the Torah since at least March. For many of us, it's been since last High Holy Days or longer. How can something so important not be a physical part of our lives for so long? Yes, of course, it's the writings and ideas we take away from it. And with the internet, you can easily find the Torah in both Hebrew and English, as well as any other language that might suit you. 
But wasn't that the physical thing that brought us together? Isn't that what we danced with on Simchat Torah and what we paraded around the sanctuary and handed to our children for a bar bat mitzvah? Isn't that the special, singular, physical object that connects us all? It's difficult to have Judaism in your life without physical objects. Think about Shabbat candles or a menorah or Hanukkah for Hanukkah, a talit, a prayer shawl, a seder plate, a kiddush cup, a shofar, a mezuzah, the havdalah spices, a prayer book. Judaism thrives on physical objects. Judaism is created with physical objects. And the Torah is the center of it all. I miss it. I miss opening the ark to see it during services. I miss rolling it, trying to find the start point for a bar about mitzvah student to practice from it. I even miss the old musty smell of it sometimes. The first sentence of this week's Torah portion, Re'eh, says, See this day I set before you blessing and curse. At the end of the day, it's all about perspective, outlook, and attitude. God has always placed before us blessings and curses. Now, that's not the same thing as hardships or good luck. A lot of that is out of our control. But rather, it's what we choose to see in things outside of ourselves. There is no true replacement for our Torah when we're not able to physically gather around it and chant from it, feeling the thickness of the parchment and holding the yod. So the blessing I try to choose is that we are making sure that everyone stays healthy and that we will, without a doubt, be together in person once again with our Torah, even though I can't be sure when that will be. Our Torah has survived thousands of years through much worse than this, and when we can celebrate our Torah and our heritage with or without those physical objects, we choose blessing. Shabbat Shalom. We continue on Elena on page 114. Please rise if you are able. Elena, the Shabbat la Jod Hakol, la Teich Kedula liotzer breishit, shehunu teishamayim biyoser aretz, umoshav yekaro bashamayim bima, ushchina tuzo v'kofe meromim. Oh, 
As we now think about members of our community who have died recently or in years past, I invite you upon hearing the name of your loved one to stand as a sign of grief and love for that person and to remain standing until all the yard site names have been listed. On this Shabbat, we think of those that are grieving the Shloshim, the 30-day period of mourning for Dory Cohen, Benny Shulman Donald, Vladimir Doktorovich, we also think of those that are grieving the Shana, the first year of mourning for Gary Acknan, Marion Bergoffin, Raymond Berman, Rabbi Samuel Brody, Carrie Broding, Laura Bruckheimer, Alexander Brustein, Stephen Ronnie Bush, Idel Kagan, Dr. Bernard Cohen, Rabbi Sissy Corin, Vivian David, Rebecca Lindecker, Jean Donnelly, Michael Dubrow, Mark Emanuel, Bert Epstein, Glenn Farber, Beverly Furman, Mar Fox, Helen Marchick Goldman, Mel Grant, Bernice Green, Lorna Hoffman, Joan Hammer, Susan Hammer, Dolores Jaffe, Seema Jaffe, Jerry Kane, Lori Kaplan, Lori LeMay, David Dudy Messinger, Irene Neal, Richard Pasco, Nancy Fister, Curtis Lee Robinson, Laura Marie Rosen, Edith Rosenberg, Barbara Rudnecki, Victor Ratner, Fred Retchen, David Reisner, Leo Rinsler, Ron Roth, Lorraine Samuel, Jane Schwartz, Ruth Silen, Marilyn Silver, Sophie Siemens, Francis Singer, Alice Sklar, Sandra Sokolek, Bruce Summer, Bernard Spillman, Joan Rusnak Weinberg. We also think of the following yard sites that we observe on this Shabbat as we think of Sarah Asher, George Baker, Shirley Ball, Irvine M. Bernstein, Ruth Bloomfield, Stefan Bloomfield, Natalie Bortz, Ethel Brody, Marcus Brooks, Janice Cohen, Lee Davis, Fanny Emanuel, Sidney Fox, Sam Gelman, Joseph Gitten, Eileen Hoffman, Irving Hoffman, Irving Horschman, Elizabeth Cass, Madeline Louise Kaufman, Harry Kessler, Bertha Crystal, Pasha Land, Eva Lev, Francisco Machado, Conceso Machado, Frida Manzel, Sumner Magat, Sarah Marcus, Naomi Mayer, Barry Melnick, Isidore Messinger, Leonid Moyerman, Isaac Orloff, Elias Papkin, Jeff Prezant, Pauline Prezant, Jackie Radwin, Barbara T. Bobby Shulkin, Pauline Kessler Stein, Joseph Tannenbaum, John Wall, Samuel Weinstein, Benjamin Weiss, Gigi Green Wicks, Jean Wiesner. Zichonam Livracha, may the memories of all of our loved ones endure as a blessing as we continue with Mourner's Kaddish. We continue with Kaddisha Toma Mourner's Kaddish on page 119. Yitkadal v'yitkadash me'raba v'amad yivrach l'ulte v'amlich malfute v'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayi d'chol b'Yisrael v'agalav u'zman kari v'imru amen. Yehi shme raba mevorach v'olam olme almaya Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'tale v'talal Shmei v'kudisha b'rechu V'yalam ikor b'rechata v'shirata Tush b'rechata v'nechemata V'amiran b'elma v'imru amen. Yehi shlomo rabba meshamaya v'chayim alenu v'akol Yisrael v'imru amen. Osei shalom b'mromav v'yasei shalom alenu v'akol Yisrael v'akol yoshvei tevel v'imru amen. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn 
comfort to those who are bereaved among us, whoever they may be, as we say together, Amen. Oh, yeah,